Hi, my name is Ayman Aitani and I'm a business growth specialist. The topic of today that we're talking about is how we as people, as humans, we adapt to the use of technology. Uh, and the example is the video calls we were doing from home, what we've chosen to wear personally, and also a little bit about our backgrounds and so on, because uh, it's a particular uh, topic of interest to me, which is how we use uh, technology and as people and how we change our behavior to this. So let's talk about Zoom and how we've been, or any other tool you've been using, and we've been using it from home. We've paid attention to what we wear because it's, there, these are video calls. We've paid attention to our backgrounds and to adjust through that uh, when we're at home, it's a little bit tricky. And um, so this will, this will be the topic that, uh, that we're covering today. And so, uh, a couple of things. So, if you have any questions, feel free to, to ask them in the in the Q and A uh, in the Q and A part. Um, it's going to be a brief session today. And anything related to business growth, and uh, uh, anything needed for your business, whether acquiring customers, uh, running a, a a startup program for a corporation or a government entity, uh, recruitment, funding, any questions like that, uh, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. Uh, and next week, I'm talking more about how to build a profitable business. So how to how businesses can be made profitable, what to look for, what to measure. So uh, we'll be sharing in the chat the uh, the link to the uh, the webinar for next week for you uh, uh, to keep an eye on if this topic is of interest to you. Now, uh, I'll talk more about my personal experience in this, and I'll talk more about what others have done as well. So one of the things I started to do is I noticed I was sitting for a good 12 to 15 hours a day between work, uh, between, you know, watching Netflix and shopping, whatever it is, because you know how it is, we're doing everything on, uh, uh, online at home. So I've been very uncomfortable and I was researching different uh, ways to, to get on a standing desk. Uh, and I've been able to choose one of them where I've been able to move it up and down. So on certain calls, I used to put them up and I was able to do the call. And it was always unusual for those on the other side. They'd look at, why are you standing? It was confusing for them. And for me, it was, uh, if the call was not very long, if it was like 45 minutes, an hour, that's, that's the most I could, I could do in terms of uh, a standing call. Um, so uh, it, it, it was a little bit, it was a little bit different. Uh, on uh, having having the calls uh, uh, standing up. Another thing I've noticed as well, is just for you to know it's more psychologically for me, is even before the pandemic, what I've done before the pandemic is uh, I've always been, when working from home, I've always gotten dressed properly because the mindset is I'm dressed, I, I, usually, I, I also used to go to the, the, I used to wear shoes as well at home. Uh, and then I tried to do it during the pandemic and it was very difficult for me in the beginning because I was wearing jeans and proper shirt and shoes. And then I noticed, wait, these shoes are not clean pandemic wise and I can't use them inside the house. So I bought, you know, COVID shoes as in shoes that I only bought and wore inside the house. If they've never stepped outside, those, those are nice and clean that I can use in, in house uh, uh, internally. Uh, another thing I've noticed is I'm wearing jeans all the time and I saw a tweet about People wearing, I saw one of the tweets that says, uh, people wearing jeans at home during COVID uh, need to get checked or something like this, like a psychological check and so on. Then I thought about it a little bit more saying, actually, it's a little bit comfortable for me to wear jeans. Let me try something more comfortable. So what I, what I did was I chosen shorts, but they're khaki shorts, right? So they're, they're something that I envisioned, if it's on camera, that's fine. It's something I might wear on a casual wedding. If it's like a beach wedding, I'm comfortable wearing these khaki shorts and a shirt. Um, and then I also got uh, a cloth-based a cloth, -based, uh, a cloth -based belt, which I thought was, you know, easier for me to wear and so on. So it's one short I wore for a long time. So there were one or two shorts that, that I wore at home and I, and I cycled through. And I had, uh, and I had uh, shoes, shoes to wear for that. Another thing I paid attention to was the background. The background was always something that really annoyed me. So I tried to hide things. So I bought posters, for example. So that was one of the things I was trying to hide. So I bought posters to hide the backgrounds and I was looking at different things I can buy. So this is one example of a poster I tried to background, but as is with things you buy online, I, I miscalculated the, the dimensions. 
So I wanted to hide things and it wasn't big enough. So I bought two posters and then they looked ugly next to each other. They didn't fit. So, you know, I changed the background. That was easier for me than, than actually putting up posters. And then another thing that I saw uh, I could really improve on is lighting. And I'd recommend you do this from your home. I really, it really made a big difference buying a proper light because our homes are done for, you know, ambient light, background lights. They're not for proper lights. Even if you want to read, it's only in one place where you have a strong light. So what I did was I got a very big light, the type that you see uh, in a studio. And the quality of the, of the video calls really made a difference. And I got comments from family members who, who started to use this light to take Instagram pictures because they look better. So definitely, definitely a light. I, I would look at the light and a proper microphone. It doesn't have to be a fancy one like the one I got, but just, you know, the lighting makes a big deal and the, and the, and the microphone as well. So if you're planning to spend more time working from home, um, I'd recommend the, uh, a proper light. Um, also, uh, the video angles make a big deal. So if you notice here on the left, what I was trying to do here, what I was trying to do on this one is the background here, I'm hiding it now by standing there. But before then, I was looking for, I was looking for posters. So the posters was for me to hide the bunch of things here in the back. And it was very difficult for me to hide that. I needed many posters, different sizes and so on. And then you see this fancy thing here. A lot of people thought it was like, oh, Ayman, great. You looked at branding, you're thinking about branding and so on. The story behind this is there's a mirror here. And the mirror here was showing the other part of the room, the messy part that I wanted to hide. So the mirror here showed, uh, you know, the clothes that we have on the side and things on the floor and things like this. So the only way I could hide it is I remember that I had at the office at the branding part. So I brought it, I brought it home from the office and I put it up. So it solved, solved two things for me. It gave a nice branding part and, and then the, it solved my mirror thing. But it became very awkward when I had um, personal calls. So um, a friend of mine had, had a birthday. It was a Zoom call and his wife invited us in. So we were a bunch of people. And then I, I was like formally standing. I had a branding thing and so on. And everybody else was on their couches at home with their t-shirts, with their families, a very casual thing. And for them, it was like, so Ayman, are you a DJ now? Or what are you doing standing? And why is this set up? And is this a work call? And just, you know, it was, it was very, it was, it was a diff it was a different setup it's because for me most of the calls were work calls most of the day so i was optimized definitely for work calls more than the personal calls so here uh, with this one um uh, so let, let me tackle this one so this was a great dubai based background dubai theme that I, that i wanted to look at and have in the background but the problem that I had with this background is it's a lighting problem where it looks very, I would look very dark. So here it's exceptionally, I was able to fix it. But every time I had a call, every time I had to adjust the lights and adjust the angle to, to be able to get this because you know when you have a background light, you become darker. So what I ended up doing was I had to forfeit this great view to go with something like this, it's, it's indoor. Um, so at least here, I didn't have to every call to fix the lighting and fix things like this and so on. It was very annoying to do with every call. So, and experimenting with these, and I have a couple of friends who message me every time saying, you know, background number 622. So because they see my video content that I do online and so on. So they've noticed uh, uh, the changes in that. So I definitely recommend trying out different angles until you find something that works for you. Uh, the other part as well is, uh, I started coming back uh, to the office. So in between the office and so on. So I had a great setup. I had a great setup at, at, at home. And then I had to come back to the office, but I still needed something at home. So I moved the, I moved the, the standing desk back to the office. And then what I did was I, I did the make, I had a makeshift, I had a makeshift desk here. So this is my morning setup for the TV interview. I'm on the standing desk, but I still need the higher aspect of it because I had a nice setup here that I disconnected and took back to the office now that we're back. And so I needed the additional height here. I have the uh, additional light controls here and I'm about to go live. It's a, it's a zoom one, as you can see. I can't see or I can't see anybody, but they can see me. So that's, that's the setup I'm working on today. To and if you notice here on the floor, this and is- So I needed the additional height I'm gonna here. show the floor. See here, there's a bunch of stuff that I was looking to hide up with the with the with the uh, with the uh, uh, with the mirror. I was about to go live with my webinar, and there's too much light behind me, and uh, I'm in between places during COVID, so I don't have all of my equipment. So I had to 
this is my current setup now. So I had to stack up the screen and the, and the books and I use this tripod for the camera and then the makeshift mic. So this is gonna be my webinar setup. It's not as fancy as people wanna make it seem. So this is what, whenever I was in between, the, the, the setup was, 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 a, was a little bit uh, messy. So one thing I came across and, and that triggered this webinar is there was a New York Times article about we have two, maybe three shirts during the pandemic. Those are the ones we used. So those are the ones where, oh, it's a video call. You, you, put, you, you put your hand, you take off your PJ shirt or comfortable shirt at home and you put on the Zoom shirt. So the, the Zoom shirt are the nice proper shirts that you'd wear. And you know, you'd wash that once every week or two. Um, this is the part where uh, it, it was covered in many different publications. And this is part of why the image we're trying to, the image we're trying to show. Uh, one thing I liked is I saw this on BBC. Uh, I never thought about shades. Uh, I, I wear, wearing uh, uh, shades at home, never. So I thought that was also part of how we try to position ourselves. It's our image. And that's why we have our Zoom shirts. That's why we have, that's why we, 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 we spend time to show people our fancy backgrounds versus, because I told you, I have a mirror, I'm hiding, I'm hiding the, you know, I'm keeping, I'm showing the fake part, not, not, not the real part, which is the stuff on the floor. So uh, we spend a lot of time, it's part of our image building, even when it's digital, even when we all know we're from home, we have to give that part. So the same way he wore his shades, uh, well, you know, the thought never crossed my mind, but you know, others have, I've, I've worked on the background and, and the shirts I wear and things like this. So I have a white shirt and a blue shirt and a, uh, that I know depending on how formal the Zoom call is. Um, these are certain examples uh, uh, from, from TV of, of, you know, what people wear and what they're doing and, and so on. So those are examples of what they wear and how and, and, uh, uh, and so on. We'd look at as well others, uh, uh, you know, uh, the shirts and shorts that they wore. So it's sweat, sweatpants or jeans. So those are examples of things that we're wearing and, and how and, and, and what are things uh, there for that. So we all have two or three shirts, one or two pants, and the shoes being, 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 uh, being optional in that case. So uh, th 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 these are different examples. So what I was hoping to see is, is, is different feedback from you, uh, uh, feedback from you on this. So if we could, uh, if we could uh, uh, bring, bring people in Rita to, 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 to get feedback from them on their, their shirts and what they wore and how they did it and, 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 and so on. Is it Risa or Risa? It's Risa. <laughs> uh, I, just to, I just want to make sure that, that, that I, can, I can say it properly. How are you, Risa? Thank you Good. for joining me. Uh, I think you're on mute. Thank you, I'm good. Sorry, I'm uh, not using the microphone, so maybe you will. Oh, yes, yes, I, I, I can hear you now, Risa. So, so can you share with us more your experience with, you know, um, video call or, you know, audio and video calls always from home, the comfort level of it, and if you did video, what was your background? Uh, uh, what, what, what was the background and, and so on, if you, if, you, if, you can, if you can tell us more. If you want, we can do it uh, using chat. Or if you don't do, a, if you're uncomfortable doing audio, is that why you're muting? Or, or, or we'll do, or we'll do chat. Whatever works better for you. Yes. Uh, so my name is Lisa Saiki. I'm Japanese, based in Dubai. Uh, I first met you in the previous uh, startup hub. Uh, what they call it? The networking series. Yes. I will. Yes. And I have a, my own company for Japanese uh, enterprises for marketing and the project management. So, so what you do is you help, uh, you help companies in Japan expand their work to, 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 to the UAE, is that it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I have a company in uh, UAE and I help the companies in, uh, in Japan to come to the UAE market. Okay, good. And you help them with their marketing, is that it? Yes. Okay, okay. What's, what's the name of your company? We'll, we'll, we'll put up the Instagram or, or, the, or the website there. <laughs> Thank you. Kohot J. Kohot J. So okay. J represents Japan. 
I will write to you later. Write to the chat just to sort of sort of sort of Thank you. You don't misspell it. Um, so, 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 so tell me more is about your experience working from home. How, how comfortable were you? Um, what was the setup that you had? Um, you know, uh, can you tell us more about that? Uh, well, even before Corona, I used to work from home. So for me, uh, there was no big difference before and after Corona. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. And so you have a, you know, you have a setup at home, so you have a proper desk uh, that has work stuff and so on, or is it mixed with other family members or, or you know, how, uh, how, how was the setup that you had there at home? And, and did it change during, during COVID? Um, uh, I didn't get you, uh, I didn't actually get you. I just have a, my laptop desk. As simple as that. So it's a laptop <laughs> yes. desk that you're working on. Okay. Yes. And, and do you usually do video calls or, or audio calls mostly? What, what's, what's the level of comfort that you had? Um, we use video calls, Zoom, yes. Okay, okay. So you work yes. on the background. So tell me more about the background. Is it like a simple white wall or... Did you experiment with posters uh, like I did or, or tell me more about your background? Oftentimes I just use this white wall. Okay. Yes, but sometimes when, uh, before Corona, I used to go to nice hotels just to show them a nice view of Dubai. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, if you want, uh, uh, there are great virtual backgrounds that the Dubai Tourism made public. Uh, I think those would, would work would work very well if, if you're trying to, to project the image of, of, of Dubai. They did some great virtual backgrounds specifically for uh, video calling. Let me look that up and I'll, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll send that to you here on the chat. Okay, and um, for, do you have any special lighting at home or, or is, your, is, your, is your home well lit uh, generally? Pardon? Um, is your home is your home well lit? Is your home well lit? Uh, yes. Uh, so 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 you have you have you have enough uh, enough lighting. Yes. Let me. I'm going to share my screen. Hold on. I'm going to show you the Dubai Dubai ones. I, I think these are these are very nicely done. So see this here. So this is done uh, by Dubai Tourism, and they have they, they have high resolution images, very specifically already matched the the virtual. Uh, uh, the virtual background sizes. So I will link this and that. So in case, you know, uh, I know you're helping others from outside the UAE come to the UAE and grow their business here. So this might, if you're looking to, to give them different parts of what the city looks like, um, I'll share these in the chat for you to look at, for you to share. Um, one thing I've noticed in terms of clothing is, is as I mentioned, there are a few, you know, comfortable, comfortable clothing and we're home. So we're not, you know, we're always in clean environment and so on. So we wash them less, they're, you know, they're half iron and that's fine. It, the creases don't show a lot on video as, as we would in person and so on. So I found that there's a subset of shirts that I have that I, that I cycle through. So did, did you have the same process, Arisa? Me? Uh, are you talking about the Zoom shirt? Yeah. <laughs> I just wear whatever I like to. I don't have Zoom shirt actually. I thought the concept of the Zoom shirt was was very nice to them. Was I thought the, you know the concept of paying attention to because we have a few go to shirts that, that we go 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 for. So I thought as soon as I came across the priest for the first time, I thought you know it's definitely something for us to bring up and, and talk about. Uh, th th thank you, Risa, for participating with us today, and thank you for giving us your feedback. And uh, uh, don't forget to put in the chat the uh, uh, the uh, thank you so much. Uh, business. Um, uh, I just want to ask also as well. We had, we had Dr. Hanadi, if you wanted, to, if you wanted to, to, to to give your opinion, if you want, uh, you do it on chat or audio, whatever whatever makes you comfortable. If not, also as well, whatever you need. Hi, Ayman, how are you? Thank you so much for this nice webinar. I was waiting for it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Tell us more about your experience working from home and the setup that you had at home and so on. How, how did that work with work and family and everybody else? Well, uh, it's a bit different 
as I originally worked mostly from home, I'm a pain expert and holistic therapist. Uh, so uh, during COVID-19, most of my calls used to be like either phone calls, sometimes there are video calls, but yes, uh, the dress code is uh, something that I will look for. Uh, so you can see in my profile picture, uh, this is the formal um, dress code for like, you know, an official meeting or something, a buy and scarf. But if I'm talking to one of my clients, it will be a different color code. So usually it's like um, grayish uh, or bluish, something to cool their mood down because usually they call and they have lots of pains or injury or something. And they cannot come to, to their session as usual. So very interesting. So, so you, as part of your therapy, yeah, as part of your therapeutic help for them, you also factored in the perception of color. Yes. So I use the chromotherapy as a part, a big part of my work. Uh, so uh, most of the time, if the client call and I need to know a little bit of what I'm dealing with, uh, if I'm capable to to help or refer it for someone from the medical field. Okay. Uh, so from the, from the case history, I will say, okay, what's going on? So if it's a toxicity uh, case, I have specific dress code. Mm -hmm. If it's someone who is having um, like an R injury, a fall down, they will have different colors most of the time. Um, it's usually the scarf that I change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes the background, although I don't have that much of background options, I have a, a different curtain colors, but usually it's the bookcase. So they know that, okay, it's time not to chat. It's time to receive the session and that's it. But I will highlight that because I saw, yes, what you mentioned about the dress code. Like I will attend a webinar. It's amazing. And the background is not that much or the lighting. Uh, so it's like, you know, I'm trying to focus on something is like <laughs> distract my eyes about it. I like the branding, although I'm like, I'm building my brand now because I'm upgrading my work uh, from into a different level. Uh, I, so I really like the, like, you know, the background that you use is that trade. Oh, yes. And it's very simple. It's not expensive to do. So these yeah. are, it's, it's a load up. So this is, this is, this is a, sim a simple road up. So it's very nice and thin. It's a, it's a simple road up. They're not expensive uh, to, to do and, and they're portable. So I can easily close it. This is what I did. I just close it down and, and carry it over, over to, to the house and I, and, I, and I put it up. So it's a, it's a simple road up banner. Yeah. Uh, so I really like this uh, idea because I was looking to, to find some like, you know, uh, partitions or any background um, posters and that's brilliant so i can move it in, in any room in my house absolutely especially absolutely. that yeah uh, that with my work i have four homeschoolers <laughs> so i have to really like you know adjust that if they are studying in this place i have to use the other rooms for uh, chat or to do the work um, from my computer or my yeah, uh, this is all custom, uh, this is all custom design so you, 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 so whoever designer can help you on this they do a design and then you can do it with any print house in the UAE, and they print. So these are standard sizes. They have, uh, they have a size. This is almost one meter, and they have another one which is, I think, two or three meters. So those are usually two standard sizes. You decide on which one you want, and then it's it's it's, it's a straightforward process. It's it's very cost effective. I think it's. Uh, yeah. So that will be my next step. Probably yes. I will prepare some with uh, with some anatomy features if I'm teaching someone anatomy or pathology through the web. So okay. it's like, you know, I can use in, in, uh, in oh, like yes. multi, multi purposes. You can point stuff out at it and so on. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, th I think, I think that makes sense. Um, and if, and uh, I like uh, your way that you like, you know, when you, you were more aware about your position, about your posture and you start to stand up and instead of uh, yes. sitting down. Uh, so what, when I saw you in, in the last webinar, I, I figured out like, you know, he's standing. That's cool. And another thing is like, you know, it gives the, the feeling of the actual live webinar. Like, it, we, are, we are just uh, feeling that. Standing and doing this, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. We're yes. just with you in the same room. It's not like you're sitting and behind the scene and that's it. So I really yeah. like that. Uh, that's okay. another idea. I will use it. <laughs> no, no, for, for me, Dr. Hadi, it's a couple of things. It's one is usually when I speak and so on. 
Um, I get excited about the topic, and I and I need I need the motion. Uh, you'll see when I, you know, I, I move, I fidget, and so I need I need that range of motion. That's one, and two. Uh, I've noticed that you know when I sit for long periods of time, uh, as you know, in, in your profession, I sit for long periods of time, and so on. It, it becomes uncomfortable for the back, and so on. So I've noticed that uh, because in the beginning, what I want to do is I had my standing desk at at uh, at home, and I was using it all the time. When I started to come back to the office, I said, you know what, I'll just keep it standing desk there. I don't want to move stuff around a lot. Within the first day or the second day, I started to feel discomfort. And I said, what, you know, I, I, I started to think of why. Why, where did this discomfort mm -hmm. come from? I've always, you know, the, I just changed the place. And then I noticed that at home, I was mixing between standing and, and sitting. At work, I was only sitting. And that discomfort came, came from that. So that's why I just moved my standing desk back to the office and at home. <laughs> I have this nice big stack of books that that that, that I'm using for uh, on certain cases. Yeah, I think I managed that that instead of stacking the the books because I was afraid that my laptop will fall down. So I have a couple of wooden boxes from IKEA that we can be used. Um, <laughs> and I like you know and some hacks of the lighting. So I like you know for one for one reason because I knew that sooner or later I'm going out again in my sessions. So. Uh, like anything will be bought, I need to really like, you know, really understand, put it on my mind to use it in the future. So instead of them, I use, I put some, um, like what they call it, um, reading lamps. Okay. From uh, Ikea and they were, they work perfectly. Oh, very, um, very good, very good. Because yeah. uh, you, you, you don't need the fancy lights, lights that I was sharing. I have also these that, that I'm using up here. So the big light I told you, I showed you, that's still at home and I like it there because it gives me a, a good feel. I, I bought these. Uh, these are not very expensive, and these were originally intended for uh, uh, makeup. Uh, makeup. So for the influencers who do makeup. So yeah. you put the phone here in the middle, and there's a stand for it, and so on. But you know, I, I bought it because it's because it's not expensive, and it gives me uh, a side light, and so on. So yeah, it, 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 yeah but they are not working well with the glasses, so they kept reflecting ah. on my glasses. <laughs> that was a problem. <laughs> so, so I, cause, cause, cause I have those, yes, I have those, uh, those circles because I, I put my lenses as well, but during COVID, uh, due to a lot of the infections coming through the eyes, I tried not, uh, I'm, I've reduced, I reduced at that time, I reduced a lot to using, uh, using my eyeglasses. I use my lenses, uh, my eyeglasses most of the time, but now I'm out and about again, I'm using my lenses a little bit more. So yes. It's really a nice webinar. Like, so I'm also uh, preparing to, to the next week, probably to, announced by webinar about the COVID after the COVID. So your ideas might, might be in my uh, webinar because it was, it's about the posture, how we move, how, how actually we increase our immunity through movement. Hannah's great, great, great. I'm, 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 I'm happy that- So I uh, might use some of your ideas. I will highlight that, <laughs> that <laughs> we Maybe took it from you. Promoting uh, good health and good posture is something that uh, you know uh, we only appreciate once we start to get the pain. So whatever, whatever can help others, please, please do. Yeah, and the good thing about also that you were also um, mentioned that the, our house lighting. Most of people use the white light inside their houses, so adjusting the light was a good thing that we can see the face of the um, uh, of the to the speaker. Uh, we can communicate better because the shades or any reflection sometimes disturbs some people. Um, I'm, a, I'm a live guest on TV once every two weeks on different TV mm -hmm. stations. And usually before I'm live, uh, the technical team comes in to make sure that the audio is correct, the video is correct, the lighting is correct. And they're always surprised. They come in and say, wait, the angle of the camera is good. There's good lighting. We can hear it very well because they usually come in and they have to spend time because I see them on TV sometimes. People are not used to it. They have the camera from, you know, they, they, show, they show their chin, it's poor lighting, they have stuff in the background. So somebody has to tell them, you know, shape this up a little bit. So, uh, so definitely, definitely. And I think the lighting plays a very big role and it's nice and simple. And, and as I mentioned, I have family members who just turn on the light just to, to, take, to take selfie photos because, you know, it makes them look, 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 look better. So lighting definitely, definitely plays, plays a very big role, yeah. Thank you so much for all these tips. <laughs> Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions you have later on as you're preparing and so on. If you have any questions, uh, whether you or Risa or so on, so any questions that you have later on and so on, uh, please to reach out. Um, I'll be sending out uh, the, uh, the copy of the presentation uh, if you, because it has links to the stuff if you want to look at those as well, and, and the link to, to, the, to the webinar for, for next week. So um, next week we're focusing on um, what to look for in a profitable business because um, 
when the pandemic happened, many businesses went out of business three weeks, four weeks, it's gone, it's done, it's closed. So, and then others, they, they were, went out in a few months later, especially when it comes to small businesses or startups that require investment, not, uh, so the, the business was not profitable itself. So what I'm gonna be covering is, what are the components that we need in order to, to look, to build a profitable business? And what are the things that are commonly overlooked by founders when, uh, when building businesses and so on? And, and how, and what makes a healthy, healthy business and so on? So it's very difficult to build a healthy business. And I'm not saying I have the secrets to it, but there are many things to keep in mind on how to do it and what, what to look for and so on, and practical things that can be done. So that, that's gonna be the topic for, so today's a much like, so, so next week it's more on the, on the, on the business, business, uh, on the business uh, modeling and business uh, revenue side. I will try my best to join. Let's see if it's not uh, interacting sure. with my schedule. Sure, sure. Uh, I had, uh, before we sign off, I have one question for you, Dr. Hanadi, and, and for you, Lisa, uh, is evening webinars, are those more comfortable than, 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 than an afternoon or day? So what are, what, do you have preference for what, uh, for what, day, for what time of the day? For me, it's the, I prefer the evening one because at that point, like, you know, I will finish if I have clients, if the, my homeschoolers have some okay. issues that I need to, to support. So by eight, seven, eight o'clock, I will be free to move. Okay, so, so seven um, o'clock yeah. also, also, seven o'clock also works? Yeah, yeah, it works for me. Uh, okay. The last two days I actually attend exams. I, I had webinars and exams and they were in USA. So it was <laughs> 11 o'clock in the morning for them. It, for me, it's eight o'clock in the evening. Okay. And okay. we finish at one o'clock in the morning. Okay. But it's, it's okay for me because I like, like, you know, it's the end of the day, everything settled down and I can sit for my webinar and really focus on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Risa, do you have any preference for, uh, for this evening or afternoon? Well, I am actually very flexible for these timings. So I can join in daytime and even evening time. But today I just wanted my friend to join because we are only two. So I, I, <laughs> I asked Majid to join. If you, you know Majid al right? Uh, uh, he's, yeah. he, he's not on the call. Oh, I don't, he's here? I don't, I don't think he's here, but anyway, we'll... Uh, no, no, we'll, no. I asked him to join. Then he said, oh, I'm, I'm about to eat dinner. So. Okay. So, yes. So that, that's the feedback for, for dinner. What we'll do is, is we'll send you the, the link to the, to the presentation, uh, to the recording of this. Uh, yeah. Uh, Next time he would uh, also join. So, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you for participating. And uh, uh, if, if if you guys have any questions later on and so on, please feel free, free, free to reach out on sure, Instagram or or, or or by email. I'm, I'm ready to answer those. Thank you so much for your time and your effort. Thank you. We'll, we'll see you guys. Thanks. See you soon.